Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, inviting His Majesty to attend an Emergency Gulf Cooperation Council GCC summit in Saudi Arabia. The invitation was delivered to His Majesty by the Secretary General of the GCC, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, during a meeting at Safriya Palace. Dr. Al Ziani congratulated His Majesty on the 38th anniversary of the GCC. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation for the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman, for the invitation, and wished the summit every success in further reinforcing the GCC countries to face the challenges. He affirmed the achievements of the GCC since establishment in political, economic, security, social and cultural fields. He also praised the wisdom of the custodian of the two holy mosques as he leads the region towards stability and security and peace in the interests of the region's countries and their peoples. His Majesty praised the efforts of the Secretary General of the GCC toward achieving the objectives of the GCC and realising the aspirations of its peoples. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace today the US Ambassador to the Kingdom, Justin Hicks Sibiril, and Commander of the Naval Forces of the US Central Command, Commander of the Fifth Fleet, Admiral James Malloy. His Majesty welcomed the US officials, expressing pride in the Kingdom's historical relations and close partnership with the US, which is based on decades of trust, respect and coordination. He discussed with the US Ambassador bilateral relations, underlining the progressing bilateral cooperation especially in the military and defence fields, to serve the objectives and meet the common aspirations. His Majesty also underlined the pivotal role played by the US administration in cooperation with allied and friendly countries in ensuring security and stability of the region and strengthening of international peace and security. During the meeting, they exchanged views on issues of mutual interest at the regional and international levels, in addition to discussing recent events in the region. His Majesty the King praised the efforts of Admiral James Malloy to develop cooperation and enhance military and defence coordination between the two countries. For his part, Admiral James Malloy briefed His Majesty the King on the current situation in the Arabian Gulf region. The US Ambassador expressed appreciation for His Majesty's efforts in fostering the Bahraini-US friendship ties, praising the pioneering role of Bahrain and its important contributions and keenness to cooperate with the international community in promoting regional peace and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadabiya Palace a number of royal family members and officials, where His Royal Highness discussed with them local and international affairs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister called on Arabs and Muslims to support the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, especially in the midst of rapid events and developments in the region. He added that Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques and with the support of the Saudi Crown Prince, is a pillar of the nation's stability and security. His Royal Highness also noted that the region's development require further consultation and coordination, highlighting the high confidence in the leaders of the countries of the region to contain dangers. The Prime Minister warned of electric accounts that broadcast false and fabricated news and try to incite sedition, discrimination and cause division and expressed confidence that the public's awareness and cohesion of the home front will defeat these malicious goals. His Royal Highness stressed the government's keenness to make all its development objectives meet the aspirations of the citizens according to the highest quality standards. His Royal Highness hailed the contributions of the Bahraini citizens in various fields which had an important role in the Kingdom's development. He also affirmed the importance of concerted efforts to maintain the country's gains, adding that the nation's interests is the goal and all should work to achieve. The Prime Minister discussed a number of regional and international affairs with the attendees and stressed the importance of unity in facing the region's challenges highlighting that cooperation is the basis of development efforts for the benefit of the region's countries and people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the efforts of the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and initiatives that aim to maintain the stability and security of the countries, as well as the efforts to further develop their countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday evening visited the Majlis of His Majesty the King's Advisor for Information Affairs, Nabil bin Yaqub Al Hamar, the Majlis of the Al Bamhana family, 
the Majlis of Yusuf Abdul Wahab Al Hajwa and Sons, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa accompanied His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the Majlis visits. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain is on track to achieving all its development goals in line with the aspirations of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness noted these efforts underpin the principles of sustainability, competitiveness, fairness entrained in Bahrain's economic vision 2030, having led to strengthening Bahrain's national economy. He highlighted the pioneering initiatives implemented to ensure continued growth and welcomed citizens' contribution to the Kingdom's comprehensive development. His Royal Highness also noted that Bahrain's comprehensive development is built on a robust regulatory and strategic framework that enabled the Kingdom to overcome various challenges. The Crown Prince said the next phase of development will include further prosperity and advancement for Bahrain and its citizens. He emphasised the importance of the Majlis visits during the holy month of Ramadan, adding that these visits reinforce the strong bonds among citizens. For their part, the Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's visit and highlighted His Royal Highness's support to the Kingdom's comprehensive development, aimed at benefiting the country and its people.
the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has patronised the concluding ceremony of the Nasser bin Hamad Ramadan Heritage Festival held at Rifa and organised by the Bahrain Olympic Committee's Heritage Sports Committee. In the presence of the First Deputy of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Brain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, President of the Bahrain Basketball Association, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Noemi, the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Al Noemi, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tafiq al Muayyad, and a number of members of the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Highness Sheikh Khalid crowned the winners of the various games of the festival and witnessed part of the festival. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed keenness to diversify official sports competitions in the Kingdom, stressing that this festival enriches sports, cultural and entertainment events during the holy month of Ramadan. His Highness added that the festival has preserved traditional games and integrated e-sports which are popular among a wide range of Bahraini youth. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the organisation of the Heritage Sports Committee under the chairmanship of Khalifa bin Abdul al Ghad, pointing out that the high organisational level shows the great importance of the country's youth. He also congratulated the winners, wishing the rest of the participants further success in upcoming championships. The Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Adhanom, expressed thanks to Bahrain for organizing and sponsoring an event held on the sidelines of the 72nd session of the World Health Assembly at the UN Palace. During his speech, Dr. Tedros affirmed the role of health enhancement and disease control, which are an essential part of achieving universal health coverage. The Director General also commended the selection of Bahrain for this theme, which is a high priority, especially in preparation for the high-level meeting in primary care, to be held in New York next September. For her part, the Minister of Health, Faika bin Saeed al Saleh, gave a welcoming speech in which she stressed the importance of the lecture and the experiences that will be reviewed in the field of disease prevention and the efforts exerted through primary health care in achieving comprehensive and sustainable health coverage. She noted that Bahrain has given considerable attention to disease prevention and that primary care has played a key role in achieving goals and made a number of achievements in this area. She also highlighted the efforts to achieve the goals and objectives of a sustainable development plan by 2030. She added that the health sector in Bahrain witnessed a major development represented by providing comprehensive and integrated preventative and curative health care. In a press conference for the Representatives Council General Secretariat, the Secretary General Rashid Mohammed bin Najma revealed that the General Secretariat has provided 11 training programmes for the representatives during the first session of the fifth legislative term on the mechanism of cooperation with the Government Action Plan and the General Budget. 
Benajma stated that in light of the development of the staff performance in the Secretariat and an implementation of the directives of the Speaker of the Representatives Council to improve parliamentary work and develop the human cadres of the Secretariat, the Secretariat signed five agreements with the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Judicial and Legal Studies Institute, the Diplomatic Institute, Tamkeen, and the Federal National Council of the United Arab Emirates. The Secretary General of the Representatives Council stated that the Secretariat is considering signing new cooperation agreements with the Interparliamentary Union, the British International Partners Association, the Arab Charter and Human Rights, the Shura Council and the Bahrain Centre for Strategic and International Energy Studies, Dirasat.